What we do know is coming from this news conference that uh, the chief negotiator, the vice minister for foreign affairs, Abbas Arachi, gave yesterday to Iranian media. And it's been translated and it's filtered through that Iranians are putting inspections on the table. They're open to negotiating that. And it would appear that snap inspections are also up for, for, for uh, discussion. That is a very, very big carrot if this is true that the that the Iranians are offering the other delegations here, because that has been a sticking point so that they have refused in the past. Um, so apparently now the talks are getting underway as we speak. And today's talks are going to be a bit more technical in nature. The EU brought some experts with them to examine any proposals made by Iran. So they got those proposals yesterday. Now they've had time to examine it. It's all very well, for example, diplomats inking a deal to say, yes, more, uh, more inspections are possible. But they need these experts to say, where do they inspect? How often? What sites? Um, what should they be looking for? All of this needs to go into the agreements, otherwise it doesn't really have much force if it's not specific. Now, um, interesting to note, however, that last week um, the former nuclear negotiator for Iran, Ali Larijani, he was here in Geneva and he told us that the IAEA already has a camera in at least one of their nuclear sites. Now, if that's true, if it's operational, then it seems that the Iranians really are open to some form of outside scrutiny. And that could be a very big advancement and a big, um, big obstacle removed um, in, the, in the drawing up of any deal.